Hello everyone, it's uh, Ketchup here, your favorite YouTuber who just decided to film today even though I uploaded just yesterday because I want my video to be as relevant as possible. Hi. So uh, let's get to the point and no more chit chats. I am extremely uh, embarrassed and uh, annoyed, pissed, and I just think this is pretty dumb because I actually made a three part video about this kind of the talking about the series but you guys need to realize, you have a brain for a reason. For those who don't know what I'm talking about and happen to just be in this video for some unknown reasons, hi, please subscribe. So uh, a recent series has just ended with the name called Domestic Girlfriend and it's uh, publishing for like 6 years uh, starting from the April of 2014-2015 and then it ended uh, this June 10, 2020. And this series actually has a lot of fans and it shows that because in Bookwalker last week uh, actually uh, Domestic Girlfriend ranked first which is cool and the second thing is uh, it ranked 17 out of 26,466 mangas that uh, that are like in illegal, illegal sites and it based on views which is cool it's actually no surprise that the series has a lot of fans because it actually has a good story and Sasaga K sensei did a good job on that and everyone loved the series up until 276 and as i said uh, in the previous video i made i will be making a video about my message to Sasaga K sensei which is this video and this is the timestamp where i will be speaking japanese and uh, giving my thoughts on the hate towards the community, the, the Domicano community. So let's get right into it. Well, I'm gonna be looking at uh, hate comments or tweets that were sent to cut to Sensei. So I'm just gonna read it for a bit and then we're gonna get back to the, the message. So the first thing is, I'm Team Hina, but boy, I want Sasaga K career destroyed like Koji Sayo. So I don't know who Koji Sayo is, but what? So it's kind of like getting pretty dumb here because like why you're just straight up harassing the author which is pretty dumb and next one is it if it doesn't matter what I think then I suppose I will not invest time in your next work if this is the result of your conviction I can't trust not being betrayed again so if you guys don't know what this guy is talking about so basically Sasaka K sensei before the last chapter was like uh, produce or something or published uh, she actually tweeted something about uh, she would not change the ending of the story which is fabulous because I understand that it's her creation and uh, she put the chickens are back at it again so they put like a uh, sensei put like in her message that kamai uh, masen which means I wouldn't mind uh, she wouldn't mind the hateful comments anymore, but she doesn't mean she doesn't care what she thinks because she said in a tweet as well that she talked about it with her editor on, uh, about the ending. So meaning if she actually did give some time to talk about the ending once again, then that just means she actually cared about it. So yeah, there's that. There's your brain who uses Google Translate. Let's talk about what is a proper ending because a proper ending is, it seems like to you, is something that could satisfy the readers but it feels like the only ones who are not satisfied with the ending was just the toxic Ruby fans who keep on harassing the author because they couldn't accept that their favorite ship didn't sail and sank like Titanic. He also said you made Hina into some sort of desperate ex who couldn't let go. Aren't most of us like that? Who can move on from their love for like that took like years in just in a matter of what months if you want so but who could move on that easy like if you can then that means you didn't really love the person so that, that's that it just shows that Hina loves uh, not so so much so I'm sorry I just woke up I, I can't start properly worst manga ever nothing makes sense sad face Please explain what didn't make sense and I would uh, talk about it. You're such a bad writer! Wait, what's this? They did something. Hitakus. What? So I only started uh, trying to uh, study Japanese katakana 
And you literally said hetakso, which means you suck. But you don't write hetakso in katakana, you write that in hiragana. So yeah. Everyone is happily married except Rui. Well, I guess having a child with a man who has always loved her sister is good enough result for Rui. She is just a tool for Hina's happy ending anyway. <clears throat> it just shows that you really didn't understand the series because it clearly said when they broke up, I think people disregarded what Sasuke Sensei was trying to say because in when Rui broke up with, uh, with Natsuo, she said, are you gonna forget all of our memories and stuff? Because it's not the point. It's, it's not that they could easily forget the memories they made. It's that those memories they made is a lesson so that they can live in the few I don't want to explain. Oh, man, just just read them out properly. Now let's go to some uh, Facebook comments that I happen to see. She provoked the fans with her reply on Twitter when she said she doesn't care what they think. As I said, she said kamai masen, which means she doesn't mind and she wouldn't mind, but she did care because she actually did took some time to actually talk about with her editor about the ending. So that means she did care. So that's her point. And here are like the famous what do you call this? Uh famous famous like hate comments so uh, they were replying to Sasuke Sensei's tweet then delete or deactivate your Twitter you can't take a hit you can't you can't take a hit you don't don't this is barely English don't write unnecessary dramas or things that doesn't fit ever again or don't like write uh, don't write like ever you would think you'll be smart enough to realize that People will criticize you for your work, which is, I don't know, normal. <sighs> okay, so uh, first of all, that was barely English. And uh, first of all, deleting and deactivating your Twitter, that, that's, that just means she's, she's showing that she was actually affected. Because, for example, I made this video and then I get a lot of hate. And then I deleted my video. That just like is showing that means I take, I take what my opinions back like what I said here if I delete it it doesn't matter anymore because of the hate comments I decided to take it off then that means my creation or my comment or opinion anyways doesn't matter because if it was so easy to be uh, deleted uh, just because of some hate comments then that just means the haters won which is basically what Sasuke K Sensei is doing because she doesn't want to people to think that she was taken over by those hate comments which is a good thing that's why I really admire her for that don't make such a bad ending if you're not ready for criticism that's if what you guys are doing are criticism which is not it's a harassment uh, actually I kind of took the time to calculate things 30% uh, are actually part of people who like actually 40% who like the ending like me who appreciate the ending no matter how it ended 10% were like proper constructive criticisms and 50% are like criticisms and harassment like You should not write ever again. You suck. You hit so and this is, this is the most famous one I think Actually, I hope your husband left you and your child for your sister or BFF and we will see your true feelings in this time Will you be like Rui or not? Nah? Making Rui pregnant and suffering for five years, raising her child with no husband from the beginning, you shouldn't do it. You see, the thing is, I wasn't sure if uh, Sasaga K Sensei were receiving death threats, but at this point, I'm pretty sure she was receiving death threats, but she's not just publicly announcing it. Basically, like letting the fictional stories, as much as I hate to say it, it's just drawing. It's just a fictional story with fictional characters, with fictional setting that made by an author with an amazing imagination and if you're really gonna prioritize the fictional stories that is then the health and the the mental what they say that the, the mental health of the author who made this then you're just completely you're pro i don't know who wrote this it was probably like a 13 year old or something i mean who am i to talk i'm like a kid as well but i'm a teenager but i don't do these things but I guess that's how it is in the teenager world. You just, you just kind of like get offended with everything. I decided to not look at uh, uh, many hate comments because that's just gonna give uh, like negative things in the uh, in this video negative feelings. So I'm just gonna show you guys in the screen that are I've been seeing a lot of positive comments here, and it's all showing in the screen. And yeah, they just take a look at it. 
and and be like them please okay so I said I'm not gonna show much uh, stuff but okay I saw this uh, very positive one it, this is uh, actually constructive criticism this is the right constructive criticism so it says the author has every right to do what she wants in her with her own story yeah boohoo Rui Maravlos and I understand it's kinda it's kinda blah, 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 that 100 ish chapters of character development and build up of Rui and Natsu but I personally don't feel like attacking Kei Sasuga for this. I am Team Rui, and yes, I got pissed about the current chapters because of Hina, and mostly not so being not being not so Jesus. But at the end of the day, I realized this is her own story, and I just decide and I just had to accept how things turned out. Drop the manga if you don't like it. Criticize it. Say your opinions about it. But you don't have to attack the author, attack and threaten the author. It's unnecessary. I'm sure she still worked hard for it and thought she, she, uh, what? <laughs> and thought that it's the best possible story that she could come up with. The best we can do is point out what she could have done better, what you believe her, were shortcomings in her writing, and other constructive criticism. So hopefully she may know how she can improve next time, and not be discouraged. So everyone who attacked her in Twitter or wherever, just calm the f down and don't throw your anger all out in case Sasuga. Because I know I still enjoyed binging around 200 plus chapters of the manga at the time for two days, and got me re and got me really happy and sad. So clap to this man. Like the thing is, uh, it's actually funny because the thing is, I have one question for all of you who are like bashing. Uh, Okay, Sasuga, how many of you actually bought the manga? What? What? None of you. What? You were just reading in an illegal site and you had the balls to actually harass the author when you're not even reading it legally? What? Oh crap. I know for a fact that most of you who harassed Kei Sasaga on Twitter were actually the ones that didn't read it legally and were watching, uh, were reading it in like illegal sites. Like, because I know it in the comments, I see a lot of, uh, where do you read this? Give me the link, please. Eto, atashi no channel no fan no katagata wa, ma hotondo nain desu kete ne, sensei no. あ、仕事に着いてメッセージを捧げようと思います。え、私たちは先生のあ、漫画をすごく好きなんです。あ、最後のチャプターはこの人をあ、嫌われているかもしれませんが、あ、先生の漫画を一生懸命に入れて本当
成長したんだことと思ったんですよね9歳の時からあの自,分自分のストーリーを作ってなんか興味あったんですねでもなんか成長した時はなんか,あ,なんか、ま、あんまり興味ないんですねでも夏をなんか小説家になりたいの感じとかなんかインスピレーションになったんですね先生の漫画はそのなぜ私がその常設があった時なんか思い出させましたんだからなんかそ,そのすごく感謝していますそして今改めてあの自分の夢を本気になったっていう感じなんですよねあまあ全部先生のおかげなんですあでは改めてあドメスティックな彼女を救ってくれてありがとうございました短い間なんですが本当にありがとうございます長い漫画を作ってくれてあの本当にお疲れ様でした次の作品を楽しみです。頑張ってください。